I think uh, the absence of a very firm and forcible response to the taking of Crimea was judged by the leadership in Russia as a weak response and therefore so, so what would you have done after we were surprised by what they did in taking over Crimea what should the US leadership have done in response to that that we didn't do I would have recommended that the Ukraine take all of its military assets it had available put them on that eastern border provide those assets with defensive weapons that are necessary just to defend themselves, announce that the U.S. is going to provide them intelligence and that there will either NATO or U.S. will provide air surveillance over that border to monitor any movements. So your recommendation would have been to do a more robust supply of, of military? Yes, sir. What, uh, I think what Russian leadership would have, understand, would have understood is a powerful response that so, indicated, uh, so yes, you took the Crimea, but you're, this, is, this stops right here. So, so as I understand, our NATO partners, particularly in the Baltics and Poland, are very concerned about Russian aggression. NATO has deployed troops in this region in order to show Russia that Article 5 means something. I take it you support that type of action. Yes, I do. That, that is the type of response that Russia expects. If Russia acts with force, taking of Crimea was an act of force. They, so, didn't, they didn't just volunteer, volunteer themselves. Uh, so they required a proportional, act, a proportional show of force to indicate to Russia that there'll be no more taking of territory. And that's encouraging to me to hear you say that, because it's not exactly consistent with what Mr. Trump has been saying in regards to Article 5 commitments under NATO by the United States. So I, I appreciate your, your commitment or your views on, on that issue. So let me get to the response that was done. We imposed U.S.-led sanctions against Russia as a result of its conduct in Ukraine. We went to Europe and were able to get Europe to act. The United States, in my view, wanted to go even further, but we couldn't get Europe to go beyond what they were willing to do. You agree or disagree with that strategy for the United States to lead by showing sanctions as we did? Uh, Senator, sanctions are a powerful tool and they're an important tool in terms of uh, deterring additional action. Once, once actors have acted up, then we want to deter any further action on their part. Uh, so yes, American leadership is, is oftentimes, if, if not almost always, required to demonstrate that first step. 